Beyond the waves, beyond the shores, these women fight against all odds to survive. Takwa Bay is home to natives who are living on borrowed lands. Speaking to the locals, we learned that the land legally belongs to the Nigerian Port Authority and the Nigerian Navy. We haven't been able to confirm the authenticity of this, but one thing is for sure, these are government lands. The most people care about, it's beaches, a destination for surfers, thrill seekers and campers. Lots of tourists eagerly race to catch the first wave at the bay. So what does life at the bay look like beyond the beaches? Terasilo wakes up at about 4 o'clock every morning because any later, she may not conveniently squeeze in all the tasks she has for the day. She needs to beat the others to it to get prime real estate on the waters. This is where she gets her daily bread. My Okay, all Jules. What you want to be three years now? Old Jenny Monta. Monta Rice, Monta Juma Meji. Monta Rice, Monta Pumotunta Pura. Three years ago, Timothy Water Island, the Viva. All coming in Sherry of Goodich. Moala to Forasti. My name is Julie Wokuma. I have five children. I'm a businesswoman. I'm a food seller. I come with my sister, Takwabe. I come with my sister, 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 I come in a barely functional economy, these women have a huge role to play in the continuation of life and the bulk of the functionality of Takwapi Island in most homes rests on their shoulders. In the case of Terasilo, she single-handedly cares for her nine kids. She puts the food on the table by going to catch the fish they would have for lunch today. So, I think I can talk about what to do by the way. But I want to watch the way to my mom. I want to talk about the way. So, I want to talk about it. But what does a typical morning at the bay look like for these women? Not being able to afford hired help, the cleaning, cooking and caring for children or elderly is performed by them, unpaid. Then they proceed to go about their various businesses to find pay. Now, all of this housework is critical to the proper functioning of the community, but it's largely ignored when pushing for economic policies for the community, most of which haven't skilled anyway. 
the consequences of this, the women work twice as hard and earn half as much. They then go on to spend all they earn on family. At the cross, go to the buy my market, the concept. Maybe sometime, market did sometime, market not did, but weekend sometime. And the cash up small. Juliet and Julie Wokoma migrated into Takwa Bay in search of a market for their goods. They take advantage of the tourist influx at the weekends to make more sales. Their loyalty to family translates to doing what it takes to make sure their kids have a better life. Monday, Friday, Unfortunately, no tertiary educational institution exists in Takwa Bay. They feed, clothe, and educate their kids up to secondary level. Challenge over the field for Takwa Bay. You know, get lights, no markets, no water. They everywhere they are for us, for this Takwa Bay. Those examples, they take accidents sometimes with their wounds, sometimes with their fence self, and they lost us in the hospital. They go on top of the sea, sometimes snub, and then they call them, they eat yourself, sun, and so they suffer. They suffer. We need light in Takwa Bay. We need markets. We need water. See <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
The preservation of family is executed by the women of Takwa Bay. This is Life at the Bay.